Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Praveen Kumar Bums. Today we'll see one of the important concepts is Snowflake Processor. Okay, see, I want to find the employee table. So requirement is that what? So I'm having employee table. It is having three requirements. Okay, so requirement is that what? I'm passing employee table name. I need to get number of requirements. If I pass the table which is not there, we should get table is not available. Okay, so required today's requirement is that what? If I so I pass the table name as the input parameter okay if the table is already exist we should get number of requests okay. if table is not there we should say like table is not available one more time so today's requirements that what i need to pass the table name as the input parameter based on the input parameter if the table is already there then we should get number of requests if it is not there we should say table is not available so this is one of the important question asked in interest okay. so see now if you want to solve this requirement you should have a better understanding of the following concept. What is database? What is schema? So data definition language, manipulation language, unretrieval language, and procedure, show proc, same describe proc, and conditional statement. If you know this all this concept, it is easy to understand the requirement. Okay. The simple basics. How to create database? Create or replace database, database. Same thing, schema, schema. So development database, development schema, and a sample table I'm trying. Okay, see, same thing for syntax will see the processor. Create or replace procedure, procedure name. So returns string or number or whatever. Okay, remember, snowflake processor can return a scale, scalar, error, Python, and whatever. Okay. Now, this is the syntax. I begin. Yeah. Okay, see, this is the starting. Create or replace procedure, procedure name, return string, language SQL, and this is the execution statement. Okay. Compulsory should return a value. Okay. So now we'll all log into the application and we can have requirements that what if I pass the employee name, I should get the tape number of record. If I pass different name, I should get so table is not available. Okay, first create one database. Create database. So Pravin development db. Okay, so database has been created. So make this of use database. So database. In a similar fashion, okay, so use in a similar fashion, create one schema. So create schema, so Pravin dev schema. So now we are in data Pravin dev db and development scheme. Now what happened? I want to create one simple table. So create, so table employee ID number. Okay. Simple example. Okay, so when you're learning anything, go for simple example okay. and try to create a table. Now, what happened? Whenever you create any record, no entry will be there in. So, where there in select select star from information schema. That's the information schema dot tables. Tables here. Table name equals to our table name. Okay, I see. Whenever you create any objects and enter their information schema or tables. Okay. So table name and see row count. So row count is what? As no, it will be zero. So because there is no record as okay. Now try to insert some data with the help of DML. That is insert into EMP values one, one, comma, Ravin. Okay, see now I have made an entry. Now see a record will be there. So row count will be one. Same thing, insert one more record. So to hold the metadata, second record, go for comma. Same thing. So third record. Okay, sometime data I'm preparing. Okay, now see there will be total how many cards are there? There are three records. Are there. Okay. See? okay. Okay, requirement is that what I should pass table name as input and output should be total number of records will be three. If I pass different table, see it is not there. Okay, see it will be zero. Okay, now same use case. Now make us of process. Okay, first understand the concept. Like, so create or replace processor processor. Simple processor, composer like output, hello world. Hello world. Bracket open, bracket close. 
So returns, what should return returns? Var care. Var care. So we can able to go for var care or anything. Yes. Next step is the to our dollar dollar. So starting and ending. So I'm putting so begin and so return hello world. Simple. So try to create this processor. How to call the processor by using what? By using call. Call processor. Now we'll get what we'll get. Hello. Okay. So this is sample process. Same thing. Now copy the same value and go for our use case. So what is our use case? Okay, you see. Now table count. So table count proc. Okay, so this is the proc. Now what we should take? Okay, so now we should take the same value. Copy the same value and put here. That's it. So instead of hello world, okay, see. So put in the execution block. Okay, select. Okay. Now what happened now? Go for EMP. Now what happened now? We need to use, we should take this value and put in, put in some local variable. L into l underscore row. Okay, now see the same thing. Now try to call this processor. What happened? It will throw error. Now see it will throw what? Okay. So invalid and fair l row count. So remember if you want to use any variable compulsory we want to use this. We want to declare this variable. Where we can't able declare in the declaration section. So declare. So this is what this is number. Okay, see, try to exclude. Okay. Now what happened? Return. Okay, suppose like we are putting what return? Hello world. Instead of hello world, now what we are mentioning? So we should pass what we should pass row count. We need to convert into value because dead that issue. Now go back here. Now try to call. See what happened? Creating number of records. One more time. Okay, see. Now this entire thing select star from information schema dot tables. So from row count, we can able to figure out how many records are there into L row count. Now L row count, if you want to use this variable compulsory, we should declare in the declaration section. Okay, so declare the variable. Okay, so declare the, you know, so assign a value. Okay, so this is one. Now what happened? This value I'm trying to use this. Let's see, I'm using it. Okay, see. Now what happened now? If I pass, so this is remember this is. Static or dynamic, it's a static process. Every time we'll get same three three. Okay, but I want to now require that what I want to get what total number of records. Okay. Total number of records. Okay. Okay, I see how to convert to scale up to strings by using pipes. Okay. So like the same output we need to export. You okay, see. Compile, compile this thing. Now try to call this processor by using pro. Now see, total number of records. Now this is what every time we're reading. So this is static processor. Now I want to make this one dynamic. How can you make dynamic? Against okay, of this value, I should pass the dynamic value. Okay, see this is static processor. I want to make this one dynamic. So table name. Okay, so name. Okay, it's a where. Okay. What the pointer? Now I want to make this one dynamic. How can I make by using? So copy the same value. And put here. So remember, we use real time process, we don't use the static or how do we always mix up dynamic value that is by using parameters. You see, parameters. Okay, so try to create this value. Now, now if you compile what happened with the error, see what happens. Okay, see, suppose I put block one. Now, when I pass this value, now it will throw error. See, what's error? Okay, invalid argument type for So, in the sense, like what we should pass the table name e m. Now see, it's showing some error. What is the error? P table name. Now what happened issue is that what this is bind variable compass which use colon. One more time. So bind variable compass is this parameters need to use of bind variable that is colon. Okay. So this is clear so far. Now try to call, we'll get EM. So see, total number of records is three. Go back here. So confirmation. So select style from this. Now we'll get so three records. No issues. Suppose when I put Different whether well, it is EMP one two three. Now what happened? We are getting what? So very null because 
so we are checking only so we are doing what if it is the value is there we'll get the value but what happen error account will be null okay so remember what are the operations perform is null it will give null value one more time now if i pass emp it is giving correct result why because total number of records it's having three suppose like when now when when you don't have the record what happens suppose copy the same value so understanding the requirement is important okay? see now what i'm i'm passing emp 1 2 3 4 so emp 1 2 3 4 okay so remove this value now try to exit what happened now see it will result nothing so nothing in the sense like what by default in the row count null value populated okay see so what are the operations perform with null it will give null value only okay now we need to handle this how can you handle this value see now nulls can be handled by is null okay now so before returning we need to check whether table is there or not if l row count is null then we should display that then we should display that okay see l row count is null then we should say return okay so table is not available okay. okay so how can you check one more time okay see now when you don't give any value like when you don't get any value what happens this row count by default it will have null value so how to check the null values by saying l row count is null if it is null it will return that if it is not null it will go to the total number of records okay this is positive scenarios and new scenarios okay now try to compile one more time and try to execute see it's working okay so like if i put one two three four now what happened here so table is not available one more time so always make use of this information schema dot tables so where you'll get the like total number of records okay so like if i put emp it is having value if you don't have that it will give null value okay so create one more time create or replace procedure procedure name so table name so parameters so this is a parameter okay so this is the binary composition is polar now what happened okay same thing Okay, same thing now see okay now returns where because we are returning string declare l row count is nothing but what if you want to use any variable compulsory we should declare in the declaration section declare in the variable assign ever so this row count will be assigned in this variable now what happened why we are checking because so we should check whether table is there or not if table is there then get the value if table is not the what happened here null value how to check the null values like this conditional statement if column is null if this value is null then go inside and return this value if this is not null go outside and return total number of records okay how to call the processor by using call processor we can enable here so clear so far like this way you can enable it. see the same thing so what is the requirement okay so requirement that what okay so requirement is that what one second so requirement is that what if i pass the employee id if i pass the table name i should get total number of records if records are not there we should display like table is if table is not there then we should like table is not there. So you should do the checking how can the checking by using conditional statement okay if you like the content subscribe and share the channel thank you for watching